and we're flying, and we're flying, and we're flying, and we're still flying. Get prepared to keep flying. Yep, get prepared, everybody. They attacked from the sky. The Empire is stronger than I imagined. We gotta shoot these air balloons. Oh no. Yeah, you got this stupid, stupid hauling thing. Yeah, I got you guys. You guys ain't shit. Can can you do a dragon ga dragon dash? Dragon dash. Uh, no. I like it. Zip zip over to the side. Yeah, I can go forward. Okay. But I don't know why you would, because it's on rails. Man, you're... You suck at dodging all these bullets. I'm not really sure what you do. To... Oh, there we go. We can do that. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad. I figured that much. Jesus, Jesus. Christ. It's It'd very, be... very unresponsive. Look at this. Look at my finger. Oh. Huh. Shit. You gotta almost be pressing it beforehand. Come on, you guys. You can do that a little better. It's, it's noticeably unresponsive. The dodging with this. This ain't on rails. It is. Like. It's kinda on rails. You understand what I mean after a while. Like, it flies you in one direction. Oh. Like, but you can when you stop to get into these fights where you strafe around. Oh yeah, I see. It's kind of... I find it kind of stupid. Because, I mean, look how gray everything is. Do you seriously think I'd be able to find my way around? Mm -hmm. There's no map, so... Uh, just die. Well, that's a good thing in that case. <laughs> Better than having you roam around and see where you're going. Try and get ready for fog. There's lots of fog in this game. Brown dust fog. Yes. Everywhere. See. Such is the world of Dragon Guard. The dust storms keep us uh, keep us from following our dreams and and collecting the uh, this this the S something crystals. I yeah, I suppose what I said everybody before. in this world is trying to do something, but. It's hard to do, and no one cares because the game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just wish this would end this mission. The old knight Droheim uh, <laughs> <laughs> collected the uh, Estrus crystals, and um, and he uh, gained the power to control all of Lord Lord and Snash. And, uh, Did he seal something away? <laughs> Was no, something they sealed. They sealed him away. Oh, when he escaped. Okay. And um, oh man, and bad thing no one, escaped. no one is willing to defeat him because the game sucks just so much. <laughs> oh man, humans are a race to be pitied. I bet by the end of the game, you're gonna have some emotional awakening. You're gonna realize humans aren't so bad. Oh, and then the main character's gonna be like, "Hey, dragons ain't so bad either." And then they're gonna kiss and have babies. Yeah. <laughs> These half dragon, half human monstrosities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shrek had that shit. What? Is there a half ogre, half human in Shrek? No, no. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think dragon so. donkey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The the uh, donkey. And babies with the dragon, and they, oh, no. they were just dragons, I guess. I think. I don't know. Whoa. Look at that thing. What a. What Why a... did you design a thing like that? It's like a little radiator thing, but it just decided to float up in the air. Mm -hmm. What an armoire. Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> like, what's going on? Uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty near stuff for you. Yeah. 
this is what they decided to take over this game, the weird enemy formation things. Little square stereos. Remember that boss from near that was just like a looked like a big boom box thing? Yeah, that yeah. It was just all just a bunch of little things all floating together, little cubes. <laughs> that was a cool ass boss though. Yeah. Just this is uh, not. Yeah. Well this isn't a boss, it's just a is it? It's like <laughs> could be a boss, I don't know. See what this game's idea of a boss is. Um it's like a... uh Schmops like spawn these enemy formations that uh, that are just like they're just for scoring basically and uh, like uh, this is what those are really like when you're riding a dragon you just take forever what an armor with ears is there like a man standing up in there, flying this thing? <laughs> and you knock, you, like, you, you shoot him, it just flies over the sky, and he's just terrified. Mm. He's inside this little box, and there's no window. <laughs> Why did I choose to fly this stupid armor thing? Armors suck, they shouldn't be a ship. <laughs> this is a better looking ship. Yeah. It makes a little bit of sense. Why does it have sails, though, if it's a balloon? Why does it have two sails that are on either side of the balloons and well, there's no two reason. balloons? Like, you can make like a like a uh, a hot air balloon with sails on it for all right. Like you can just do it but if you want. Yeah. To. <laughs> yeah, but it's little propellers there too. I don't know. There's people shooting at me. I can't unlock on this guy. There oh, we go, well. is it gone? Well that was the boss, you gotta... Die, little... Little, uh... Little thing. Mailbox. <laughs> Mail bat. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It... It just looks like a cabinet with a... With a gargoyle on the top. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <laughs> really strange. We're both just floating around here in this clumsy air duel. It's just so <laughs> stupid. Anybody seeing this from like a mile away would just be laughing at it. Like, this is, we're two little mosquitoes that are running around each other and can't aim at each other because they're too close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's exactly what's That's going on. Oh. oh, look at that. Yeah, you got a bomb thing, you know. Okay. Helps break up the monotony a little. Ships are just shooting at each other. Run right in the stream of bullets. Whoa. See, uh, a good tactic when you're in the uh, Air Force is to, uh, like, do things that the enemy wouldn't be able to describe over radio. <laughs> um, like, uh, fly into the bottom of the ship and, uh, without stalling and just not move at all and just slide back and forth. <laughs> by the time they're done trying to explain it to, uh, yeah. By the time they're trying, done trying to explain it, uh, you'll have already destroyed their entire fleet. Whoa! Okay. Well, must humans leave bloody trails wherever they go? Well, I don't know, the dragons? Seems like you're killing lots of people. Jeez. Oh, We're trying to ram him, but he keeps bouncing off us. It's like it's like a magnetic field.
Jeez. <laughs> this is just... Not even... Oh, man. A cannonball just flew right in your face. Go to the top. Okay. Now, now I can just do this one. Thank God. Why couldn't he do that? Why do I have to be there? Yeah. Dismounting authorized. <laughs> what? I didn't do anything to control him. He yeah. has his own brain, I think. <laughs> Can't you just tell him to do shit? Well, you gotta pact, you gotta stay together. Except for when he's on the ground and the dragon's just... kinda... No. Yeah. Then there's this. Does this look fun? Yeah, you can be knocked off it. Mm -hmm. Alright, back to this. The Empire soldiers are massing around the castle. Oh, it's immense. How does save work? Dragon. Uh, How's the save even work? Saves after the remission. Oh, okay. See, it's kinda like a pona. It takes a million years to turn around. Yeah. It just makes us a nightmare. Kinda like everything. And then I can't see their health bar when I'm here. So. Whoa. Yeah, you get slow down. Whoa. I thought it was dramatic slow down. I'm like when you kill somebody. Well, it's dramatic if you think it's dramatic. Oh, yeah. Is it dramatic? Then it's dramatic slow down. If not, then it's a frame rate dip. Everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even the people who want frame rate problems. <laughs> this is a sort of a shmup. <laughs> Maybe it helps, I don't know. If you ask me, even the, uh, the frame rate problems make it more challenging. <laughs> if you ask me, I prefer bad controls. Uh... Yeah... We gotta fly all the way... Around. Why? Kill these targets. Why only the targets, though? I don't know. It might as well just be everybody, because you're gonna end up killing everybody else. But, like, what? And you if, got uh, this thing that's hard to control. Uh -huh. Um. See, so you didn't really do much to these guys. You should really do that more often. It's exactly no more fun than doing it on foot. Uh -huh. Um. Watch it too. Make sure you watch. Watch what the even, developers do. Not even aiming for anybody. Um, you can't. There's no aim. <laughs> like yeah, but you gotta have people under you when you fl fire flames, fire under the ground to the foot of yourself. Anyway, uh, what was it gonna say? Oh yeah, the. So, when the uh, when the chiefs of the uh, the squads are killed, does everyone else just run away? Is that how it works? Is it like a uh, don't remember sort of no. I mean, I I know that's not how it works, but it just seems seems like that's how it should. But at the same time, it doesn't make any sense. This awesome draw distance. Because otherwise, there's no reason for you to be targeting these specific people. Um, I don't know when how everyone Kime, else is still around. And I don't know how Kaim knows who's they're who. They're wearing the same. They're wearing the same stuff. Yeah, like how does he know? Yeah, he's just like thinking in the back of his mind. Okay, if I kill these certain people, I can progress the mission. <laughs> yeah, that's about it, really. Yeah. Squad leader is, like, the most important part of the group, but when he dies, everyone else is still there, and they, they're they still motivated to uh, do whatever they're doing. Um, so I guess it's just a mission thing. What are they doing anyway? What do they hope to achieve by standing 
like outside the castle wall and just sitting there Look like that. Look how much more you gotta do. Yep. That's uh... How did I ever it. beat this? <laughs> I must have really low standards. Or just really bored. Or had no... nothing to do. I don't seem to remember much about it. Well, how can you remember? There's nothing to remember. Mm -hmm. I remember the controls and how it ends. Because <laughs> there's nothing else to think about. Everything else is I'm crap. This way. You cannot go any further this way. I was uh, waiting for that, honestly. Ow. Just do it on foot. Yeah, the dragon is brought down by small little arrows. <laughs> but, but you, you can just take uh, like <clears throat> yeah, ten people like, at once. Like, really when you think about it, I'm a lot stronger than the dragon. <laughs> like, the dragon was taken down by a few arrows that are like little, it's like the size of like a toothpick to you. Yeah. And, it's, and you have scales. Mm -hmm. You have like built-in armor skin. And I can go down here without a shield and fight hundreds upon hundreds of guys. Ow. And then not even break a sweat. <laughs> that backstab is hilarious. No. You're still walking when it uh, when you're impaled on the sword. Like, I'm a thousand times stronger than the dragon. At least. These guys are really cutting me in half. Doesn't do anything to me. This is... This world is designed for an air battle, too. Look at it. There's nothing. I know. Anywhere. And guys just spawn in, like, five feet away. It would be almost cool if you could control the dragon with the left stick and control the camera with the right to make it like a flying third-person shooter. And the enemies had flying robot things or something. Hmm. So there was things to do. But there's not. Like, look. Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, man. Apparently there's some targets this way, some, but they're not drawn in yet, so I'm just gonna take the map's word for it. Oh, there they are. <laughs> yep. You're, you're usually completely surrounded by, by people on all sides, and uh, you just very... Like, when you get hit, it's really obvious. Oh, got hit again. Oh, we got 53 minutes left in the mission. Yeah, later on, you're going to be doing these missions with these, like, gigantic stages. And you have like an hour and a half time limit, and you actually run out of time because you're looking for this tiny little target guy that's running around somewhere in this gigantic open field. Uh huh. Oh, just trying to find him. <laughs> and you're like, there's one left, there's one target guy left, he's here somewhere, look, where is he? Look at those guys back there just guarding. Yeah, I don't know what. What, what are they expecting? What? I don't know. What do they think you're gonna do that they uh, need to have their shield up? If you run away, they just kind of give up. I'm just like, well, they yeah. can't win. Whatever. Well, they're... Like... Are, are they all trying to kill you? I don't know or how... Why are they there? Why are they just behind a wall? I don't know how any of these guys knows who their leader is, because they have the same armor. <laughs> who do they... What, how, how do they know who to listen to? What purpose does the leader serve? I don't know. But, like I said before, the... They all have the same motivation, they're all the same person, they just, uh... It's just somehow Kaim knows who's the most strategic person to take out of the squad. That's all yeah. there is to it. And you can't, you don't have to kill everybody. Only these squads. <laughs> like, there are some squads without targets. So. Man. Loads of fun. 
Apparently it is. What the heck's your dragon? Oh, okay. I just don't know what's is, what's more fun. That's the only purpose the well, dragon is... really serves in these stages, is to get you to do something different. Yeah. You're like, oh, frig, I'm bored of doing this, let's use the dragon. Oh, I'm bored of that, let's use, let's use Kaim. Yeah. I thought I could kill these guys. What, what? The dragon's a little faster. Well, significantly faster, but you can't tell because you're you're riding a dragon and you're, you should be a little more uh, destructive like, than this. Animals, like a dragon, with wings like that, are not designed to fly like a helicopter. Like, they're not for small, agile movements. Mm -hmm. They're meant to go long distances really quick. Like... A dragon shouldn't be doing anything like this. Like, doing this kind of thing. They'd be, like, doing flybys. Yeah. But they can hover. And you you can't hover in this game, so... What's going on there? Oh. That would be <laughs> great if you could do something like that, but... Yeah, mission complete! They're there, they're waiting for me. Yeah. There's Kaim, they're saying. He's gonna come in any minute and trigger... Trigger us. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we're level 3 and we got more health. Oh boy. My attack power went up. Awesome. Yes. Now I can kill people slightly faster. <gasps> oh, powered Whoa. up your sword. Like, there's no point in any of this stuff, because it's, it's linear. Uh -huh. There's nothing you can do to pick anything. So, this is why I even have it. Kind of Swords now level 2. What? Uh, I guess your experience is based on how many people you kill. Um, so as I guess little you, as I possibly can to get by. If you went, <laughs> if you went around and killed absolutely everybody in this time, Luna, which I guess would be a challenge um, in a way, then uh, you, you'd benefit from that, I assume. Again, I can only assume. Here's this game's idea of cutscenes. It's a portrait. Yeah, you just get to look at a little Whoa. animated clip of your character doing stuff in the corner. And it's so reading out the to voice the... is lost. A trifling voice. Yeah. No matter I shall speak for the both of us. Yeah, this is a, an interesting way to get rid of the character's voice. Oh. Like they want to do in every RPG, you can tell. Yeah. So you can put yourself into their shoes. He has a voice at first. Yeah. And he has a personality at first, so it defeats the purpose of a silent protagonist. Maybe his pact also got rid of his personality. Oh, yeah. I'm a hero now. Hmm. I can't quite think either. For myself. Why am I listening to a dragon? What kind of friggin' animal thing? Uh, yep. Oh, the mark of the pact is branded on his tongue. Uh -huh. Yep. Oh. The seals that protect the world from chaos be lost. Not the seals! Okay. Oh, uh, Kaim's friend Inuart is with her, but Kaim cannot delay! He must hurry to the goddess and save her from Inuart. Kaim's friend. Hmm. Who may or may not be getting fresh with the princess. You know what would be a good idea? Here's the dungeon. Oh. What's a good idea? Um, bind these, uh, these, like, seals and boundaries and stuff with, like, a, uh, a, a twig and bury it deep underground so that nothing will, uh, nothing will break the seal. Unless you want to. Why don't, like, these guys are like wizards and shit, right? Mm -hmm. Why can't they put, like, a seal on a seal and on a seal on a seal on a seal until no one can break it? Why can't that work? Yeah. No, I don't know what this guy's deal is. Why he does different stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for a game where you could stack magic infinitely. That, that'd be, uh,. Impossible to balance, but it'd be cool. He has a shield, bro. 
You can tell because of squares. It's not as if I can get around it. What kind of shield does that little thing have? It's it's a square shield. It spawns squares when you. Uh, it's a square hit it. in the shield. Yes. Weird how the HUD is all text. Mm -hmm. it's, like it's fake text with real text above it. Ooh. Big Grogum. Grogums. <laughs> Are those guys Grogums? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's cool. Where's the Skrullums? Where's the Skrullums? Bring that up every time I make a name. Because <laughs> I like Skrullub. <laughs> yeah. Skrullub is my uh, my best work, I gotta say. <laughs> Where are those spindly guys from the intro? I don't know. Those gangly old, like, yeah, there's stick like men. Really tall guys somewhere. Yeah. They'll, they'll probably appear soon. Slender men. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's another closed-off fireplace. Imagine living in this piece of shit castle. <laughs> Why do castles never have things in their rooms? I don't know. It's just Everybody, loads of empty rooms in a throne room. Everybody that owns a castle in a video game is always a really boring person. It's oh, the yeah. only thing I can come up with. Well, they need rooms to store their like aesthetic shields and swords that uh, all look the same and crates yeah here's a room with two crates right in the corner <laughs> <laughs> they probably have beer in them no oh, mead yeah mead like why look nothing here mm -hmm. what's in this room nothing go hit those uh hit those crates or those uh Barrels. Yeah. Don't. See if you kill that guy. It, it, everyone in the room is probably just gonna respawn. It's probably like the Legend of Zelda. If you leave one enemy around, they won't oh, all respawn. No, no, you can't even. Oh. F Damn That's it. That's like a video game staple. Yeah, I know. That instantly gets any game a point. <laughs> you can have barrels to break. The game could be like black and white, one single dot in the screen, but as long as there was a dot that you could break open with a realistic crate smashing sound effect, <laughs> it would be a 1 out of 10, because uh -huh. you got that one point. Add point five if the uh, like individual shards of the crate have physics. Yes. I'm sure you could work your way up to a 10 having just a, a crate simulator game. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Like, one's so good. But you'd have to, like, to get that extra boost up to the 10, uh, you'd need to have toilets flushable. <laughs> and you need to be able to uh, see your reflection in a mirror. Yeah. And you need to be able to use sinks. <laughs> oh, and if you want to go easy mode, just have one character uh, say something related to some some uh, cho choice based thing you did before yeah have their dialogue uh, change based on what you did before mm -hmm. upwards, upwards. The seal is stay out of the women's bathroom like that yeah. man you killed exactly 200 people good job wow thanks for noticing Yay. You <laughs> You're gonna have to step up your game, son. You killed nobody. <laughs> How'd you beat the mission without killing anyone? I don't know. I don't know if I should be impressed or disappointed. <laughs> like, it would be a lot cooler if somebody, uh, like, saved the princess without killing a single person. Got all the way up there and didn't kill anyone. <laughs> Looks like you have two energy bars now. Well, that's my magic. Watch. Oh, yeah, magic. Look how. See how it goes down there? Yeah. The yellow one's my health. Do you have a bomb when you're on the ground? That's my bomb. Oh. The that's combo fun. thing that does that. 
But because every the way everything in this game works, nothing is out of fun. Everything is out of getting doing something else, take your mind off what you were doing. Mm -hmm. There's no point in using it all the time because it's just gonna get boring. Yeah. So you might as well just kind of use everything sparingly for when you get bored. What a dungeon this is. Hey, we might come across a chest. Yeah, you never know what could happen with the game. Just don't know what you're gonna get. It's like... You know what this game is? Well, this is, uh... Super Mario 128 repackaged as uh, <laughs> as an RPG. Yeah, let's see uh, how many people we can cram on the screen. Yeah, that's it. So they they make these minimalistic areas that uh, will allow them to just pack in so many characters, moving objects. Oh, those guys have health bars now. Do you, do you switch that on and off by pressing select or something? I'm gonna find out right now. Yeah, it's yep. L3. Oh. Hmm. No idea. There's no reason not to have it on. It doesn't affect immersion. Wow, nice. A hidden treasure box has appeared. Sword, shields, armor. A hidden treasure box has appeared. What could be in it? Where is it? Uh, just like it's very hard. Warp me there or something. There's the map. Is that just the floor? Or? I I don't know. Why? What why is this? It's just a picture of a castle. Why is the trick? <laughs> why is the gravity so <laughs> distorted that you like stand on the walls inside the castle? I Maybe never, the castle's on side. I could never make anything of uh, the maps in this game either. They never seem to help. We'll check them again. See where this... Oh... Uh, doesn't tell you where the treasure box is. No, it doesn't tell you where to really go. <laughs> so... That's uh, worth it. Jeez. Can I jump over that thing? Oh, of course not. Nah. You can't jump high enough to make any cool kind of thing. It's just <laughs> enough to make one slash. Well, that makes sense. I mean... It's a video game. I want to have fun. I want to do this shit. <laughs> 